Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a fire to a fireplace using Adobe Photoshop. So I have this kind of sort of creepy image here, but I want to liven it up a little bit and I want to add a fire in the fireplace. And so uh, this is going to be really easy, really simple to do, uh, more simple than you would think. And we're actually going to make it look more realistic than just plopping a fire in there and just being done with it. And so the first thing you need is you need an image of a fireplace, but you also need an image similar to this. Uh, this is just a kind of a stock image of a fire burning in a fireplace. Um, and and it, it, you can see that it's, you know, you can see the kind of break in the background, but most of it's dark back here. And that's what's uh, what's the really key. So we need a close-up image of a fire. Uh, there's a lot of stock images, uh, free stock images that you can grab offline and, and use similar to this one or if you happen to have a fireplace already in your home this would be a great time to go to the fire set up your camera and uh, take a, your own photo uh, messing with the you know exposure uh, the lighting effects and stuff like that uh, of a fireplace in your home and you can use it uh, use one of your own images uh, but just for time's sake I have this image right here and so to get started we're just going to open this image in Photoshop and we're going to drag it over to our uh, fireplace image and you can see it's very large so I'm just going to scale, scale this down I'm going to click Command or Control T and I'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to scale this all the way down to where it sort of just kind of fits in there a little bit right around here it doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever right now so I'm just going to do my best to uh, to scale it up just kind of match it with the floor there all right, there we go. Okay, so now we have our fire here, and now we need to play around with blending modes to get it to blend in here a little bit better. So there's a couple we can choose from. Uh, most of the sections you're gonna concentrate on are gonna be right here under the uh, light and screen areas. Uh, so we have light in here, see what that does. That does okay. The only bad part is you can technically still see back there. Uh, the only thing that's helping me in this image is there's actually a log back there. So you can see through the image of there. Uh, let's try another one. We'll do screen, see what that does. That is a little bit better. Uh, color dodge, don't like that one at all. Uh, that one's good. We'll do a linear dodge add. We'll do that one. That one looks a little bit better. So I'm just going to position that a little bit. If I do need to tilt it just to kind of match the angle of the room, Command or Control T, and now I can transform it and tilt it a little bit just to match it. There we go. All right, so now if I move this around, you can see that there's a kind of a, a rectangle around here. So I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to use a, uh, a lay, uh, adjustment layer. Uh, so right there, I'm going to use a layer mask here. And so I'm going to make a blank layer mask, get my brush, make sure my brush is black. And all I'm going to do is uh, with a feather brush, hardness down to zero, all I'm going to do is just kind of roughly paint away that area here. Uh, get rid of that hard edge of the rectangle. So there we go. Easy enough. All right, so now we got our fire in there. It looks pretty realistic, uh, but we, what we need to add is a kind of a glow. Uh, that's really gonna sell the effect. Uh, as you know, if you're looking at a fire, you kind of have like a warm glow coming off the fire. And the really easy way to do that is just to make a blank layer, make sure that layer is below the actual fire layer. That way it'll look like it's behind it right over here. So now to get the correct color, uh, one of the things that you can do that, that's very helpful is that you can actually sample from the actual fire. And so you can see we have a lot of oranges. We don't want to sample white because we can choose that any time. Uh, but we can sample a bunch of these different orange tones. So if you look over here in this area, I'm sampling a bunch of different tones. And so I'm going to choose one that's sort of like a mid-orange Let's do that one right there. All right, so now we have our tone. So now with a large feathered brush, I'm gonna paint with a very low opacity. So I'm gonna take my opacity down to roughly around 30 and a flow of around the same 30, 35, somewhere around there. And all I'm gonna do is just start clicking around to try to get a little bit of a glow around the fireplace. Just doing one click at a time. All right, so we have a little bit of a glow coming now. Now we need to blend it in. So now we're going to use our blending modes again. I'm going to do overlay and see how that works. Toggle it off, toggle it on so you can see. You can see it kind of warms up the bricks a little bit. And now that I like that blending mode, now I can keep clicking with my uh, my my colored brush here. And just, I can go all the way out here because, you know, if you're looking at a fire, it does kind of go a little bit more past the, uh, the mantle area. So I'm just going to keep clicking. There we go. It looks a little warmer there. 
All right, so there we go. I think I think that's uh, that looks pretty good. I'm going to click a couple more times in the back just to make it kind of blend in more behind there. But there we go. So here is our uh, before and after here. This is kind of our ending image. So I'm going to put these in a group. So this is our before, and this is our after. You kind of got a little bit of a glow here. Now, if I wanted to go completely realistic here, what I would do is kind of minimize the shadow here of the chairs. Uh, the chair legs here, and I would put more of a shadow back here, uh, still keeping a shadow here, but pour more of a shadow back here because the fire does cast a shadow off the chair. Uh, but for the most part, that looks pretty pretty well. So uh, using your blending modes definitely will help make the fire look more realistic while it's in the fireplace and also adding that slight glow. You don't want it to be too harsh, but slight glow around the fireplace will really sell the effect. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to add a fire to a fireplace in Adobe Photoshop. This has been Jordan from sleeklens.com and I'll see you in the next video.